This year we're looking at three University of Florida varieties in our tomato study. We looked at these three last year because we were told that they have higher lycopene content. And lycopene is an antioxidant which has many health benefits. It's known to help with problems with cancer, diabetes, heart problems. So it's very beneficial and good for you. Uh, most of your red fruit have lycopene in them. Watermelons has always been known to have a lot of high lycopene. And then now we're finding out certain varieties of tomatoes do. These actually we tested last year and they had almost double what some of our other varieties did as far as lycopene content. As far as our varieties go, we have three varieties and these can be available. Uh, you have to get on the University of Florida website in order to get them and they ask for a $10 donation for their variety trials that they're doing. Um, the three varieties we have are Garden Gem, which is kind of a smaller, more of a cherry-sized tomato. Uh, it, it is very flavorful and it's a hybrid. It's been built up to be kind of something like from the past of your old heirloom tomatoes and this has been, you know, something that will produce a lot better, have a better shelf life. You know, all these varieties are considered to have more shelf life than the old heirloom varieties. Our next variety is Garden Treasure, and Garden Treasure is a little bit larger tom tomato. It's a cross of an old Brandywine heirloom, and uh, it produced a lot of fruit last year. In fact, it was the highest in our taste testing that we had, and uh, very consistent tomato, and I think would be really good for a home garden. And our last tomato um, that's part of the University of Florida is W Hybrid. And it's more of a moderate sized tomato and with excellent flavor, shelf life, and consistent on quality and quantity. All three of these varieties are bred to have higher quality, better shelf life, and uh, just easier to grow than the old heirloom varieties. Um, they have disease resistance built in them, so you shouldn't have as many issues as you did with old heirlooms. Plus you have the benefits of the flavor that you would with the old heirloom varieties. These three varieties we have on raised beds and we do a stake and weave method as far as trellising them uh, rather than using cages. Cages can get expensive and, uh, and as many tomatoes as we have you've got to find a place to keep all of your cages so it's just easier for us to do a stake and weave method. Our raised beds we've added straw to them to help keep down disease. Um, that straw when you've got water splashing on soil it shoots up on your leaves and causes a lot of disease issues. So we try to do that as well as pruning. We also do some pruning on them, um, take off all the suckers down low and a lot of the leaves that are down low as well. Um, these three varieties are all a little bit different as far as their growing methods. We've got a determinant, an indeterminate, and a semi-determinant. So we are going to get different growth heights on them, but I think they're all excellent choices for a home gardener. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.